Greetings, Sekiro Goru here, and I'm going to show you the best way to beat the Guardian Ape. If you want no monkey business, then the best thing to do during his first phase is to keep enough of a distance from him to trigger him to use his shit attack. Like a typical half-wit monkey, he'll throw his shit at you to show his disgust. Little does he know that we're a ninja, and we're the ones that look down on him and his primitive idiocy. You'll know he's about to do it, as you'll see his arm go behind him to collect the load. You want to sprint towards him head on as soon as his arm is behind him. This will make him jump over you and miss with the attack. When he lands, this leaves him open to the attack pattern that we will repeat for the whole of the first phase. Hit him twice, and then use the firecracker prosthetic on him. This will stun him, leaving you free to hit him another five times if you're quick. You can also stun him for longer sometimes when hitting him after using the firecracker. You'll know this when you see him lift up and fall back down while damaging him. When he's stunned, you're free to get another combination in. You'll want to run away as soon as your combo is over to create the distance you need to make him do the shit move again. One thing to look out for is that when you stun him the second time onwards with the firecracker, he will try to fall on you to damage you. This can be avoided by simply holding left or right to move to the side of his fall. Then start your combo attack when he's landed. One move he'll start to do when his health starts getting low is his unblockable jump grab move. It's easy enough to avoid if you're constantly running from him, and when he misses you'll have the chance to attack him three times before running away again. If you repeat this pattern, you can get through his first phase without even getting hit which will give you an easier time to beat his second phase. Another thing to be aware of is when you're creating distance from him, don't run too far away as you won't have enough time to run under him when he does the move. You can see the distance needed in the video and you'll start to be able to judge it yourself once you're in the fight. Doing it this way will also avoid a lot of his moveset, meaning you won't go bananas trying to learn his every move. If you have the chasing slice skill unlocked, you can hit him straight after using the firecracker by pressing the attack button. Every hit counts, so it's a useful skill for this fight. Now for his second phase, the Headless Cheating Demon. The things you need to look out for in this phase are his three unblockables. The sweep that you can jump over, the terror scream that can kill you if you're stuck in the radius of it, and the one where he jumps up in the air and lands on you. When you see him start to slide on the floor, you'll want to dodge into him towards his arm with the sword to avoid this attack. You're now free to hit him twice, and then get out of there as he'll usually do his unblockable scream after this move. Let him come to you after the scream, and hopefully he'll try and attack you with his sword, as that's what we want to get this fight over with. You need to deflect his sword attack twice, which will make him do his move where he stands tall and tries to stab you. Deflect this attack as well, as this will give us the opportunity to hurt him the most. When he falls to the floor after deflecting the heavy attack, use your loaded spear to stab him in the neck. Press the right trigger again to activate its grab move, which will pull the centipede out. This move will cause a lot of posture damage to him. You can also hit him a few more times while the centipede is hanging out before he recovers. And this is the tactic that we will repeat for the rest of the fight. Deflect two of his attacks, make him do the heavy attack, deflect that to stun him, and then stick him with the spear. After using the spear, he'll usually try one of his unblockable. So always get out of the range after the centipede has gone back inside him. Keep your distance and let him come to you. This will give you time to recognize which move he's about to do. Either a sword attack combination move, which is what we want, an unblockable, or the slide along the floor sword slash. But that can be always avoided by dodging into it. And that's the best way to do it. There's no real cheesing way this time, but the spear trick certainly does help make it quicker. And once you know his pattern, his other moves are easy enough to avoid. Good luck out there, ninja. 
Subscribe for more Boss Guy tips and secrets, and click the link at the end of the video or in the description to watch a Rage playthrough from someone who didn't know these hidden secrets. You'll love it. Can we go out there? Go out there, ninja. Ah!